Great, so we finished that question. Okay, so now let's look at this question. How do you evaluate the ln of 5, right? Okay, so when you're trying to evaluate ln of 5, right, and they're saying that ln of 5 is a natural log on the base e, that's right, which is log e5, right? Because it's a, it's a natural log. And then it says the value of ln 5 can be calculated using the powers over e. Okay, so, I mean, this is right, so this is e, so they're, they're pretty much giving you examples, right? Like, let's say if you have e raised to the power of 0, that's equal to 1, right? And all of this, you can actually obtain these values over here by punching them into your calculator. So make sure you have your e and you have your exponent 0, 0 0.5, 1. So they're, they're just showing you what the values could be, right? If you have 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.52, and so on and so forth, right? And these are your y values. And then now, if you have ln 5 as x, in that case, you would have x is equal to ln of 5, right? Because you know that ln, which is the natural log, right, can be written as log e, right, with the base e, then you have 5 over here. The reason why they have this e raised to the power of x is because this over here, this log of e, to get rid of that, you need to raise both sides with e. Does that make sense to get rid of log e? Because if you recall your log um, logarithm based rules, right? So you, if you have, let's say, yes, yeah, so for log, basically they're saying you have x, which is equal to, log e5, right? That's what they're trying to say. Yeah, so if you have x, which is equal to log e5, right? In order for you to get rid of this, you would have to express this and this, right? You need to raise both to the power of e, right? Does that make sense? I think it would be better if they actually show you um, this step because I think um, it's easier for students to see that if you're raising both with with e, right, and as you can see, this thing over here is actually equal to 1. So this would give you just 1, right? And according to logarithmic rules, right, because this has the same base as this, you can actually bring down the 5. And hence, you're seeing that this is now e raised to the power of x, and this is equal to 5, because the rule here is we know that this is 1, so you bring down the 5, 5 times 1 would give you 5. So that's why it's e raised to the power of x, which is equal to 5. Okay, so let's go back to this question. So this is right. Now, let's see. Yeah, the only way for you to find... Um, what the exact value of ln 5 is, which is 1.61, is, let's see, because right, like right now they're trying to approximate, right? But I think at the high school level and also in the university level, if you're just taking like general calculus courses, you don't need to approximate in order to find what the value of ln 5 is, because I mean, you have your calculator, right? So you can just type in ln of 5, right, and find that if you have ln of 5, which is equal to 161, because you're not proving anything, right? You're not proving that ln 5 is equal to 161, right? If you need to prove, then you approximate. So I think for this question, we can even stop here. We don't even need um, step 2, right? We don't even need step 4, because we don't need to show that it's 1.61, 1.62, and so on and so forth. I think the only um, time that they're saying that this is approximate approximately 5 is because if you look at 1.62 right this is just a way to check right if you have 1.62 you're going to see that this is 5.05 .05, which makes it 5.1 so it's not really precisely 5 and when you have e raised to the power of 1.61 you're going to see that this is actually 5.0 right so you can actually say that this over over here must be equal to 161 for this to become 5. Does that make sense? Because if you remember, right, how do you find, um, let's say, this, right, EX, EX is equal to 5? Well, we know that this is log E, right? So 
recall back to your exponential function and your logarithmic function. So if you have a y, which is equal to x, right? So this is your exponential function. That means you can actually rewrite this, right? If you need to solve for this logarithmic function, you can rewrite this based on your exponential function, which is log a x, right? So if you're seeing that your a is e, right, you can actually say that this is going to be e, and then you have just y because your y is this, right? And what else? Actually, your y in this case is going to be your x, right? Over here. And then, actually, let's move this here. Okay, I guess there's no space. But what I'm trying to say is, in order for you to calculate how this came about, right? How do you, how did you know it was 1.61? Well, all you have to do is set this up into an exponential function, right? And then you're going to rearrange it, rearrange this such that you know that this is going to be, let's see. Okay, so your a is e, right? And then basically you have your y value, right? So remember what we said, what y was? So y is basically 1.61, right? So this is 1.61, and then you have your x, which is log e of 5, right? So that's going to be over here. Does that make sense? Because x is equal to log e of 5, therefore we're going to say that e, then you have 1.61, which is equal to log e of 5. Okay, so um, yeah, this is right. I don't think anything has to be said except for showing um, this step, right? So maybe that's called um, showing an extra step for consider ln 5 as x, that part. Okay, so let's write a comment. Okay, so So the solution and answers. So the solutions and the answer provided and the answer provided are correct. However, I wouldn't say an additional step, right? Because they can probably omit that just by looking at this. But I think if you're learning this for the first time, you would want to see that your exponent is being brought down. And that's this part, right? Yeah, it's right here. So maybe we can say, um, but show e raised to the power of x. So e raised to the power of x is equal to e, right? Raised to the power of log, and this is basically base of e, and then you have yeah, this is supposed to be base, and unfortunately, we don't have that function to turn this into e. And then basically, this is times 5, right? Why is this autocorrect? Okay, e, okay, what did I say? e raised to the power of log e, and then you have times 5, right? So multiply... Two five, and then let's put this in a bracket, in a larger bracket. There we go. Okay, please show this is equal to e raised to the power of x is equal to just five. Okay, great. So solution is correct.